we have to find the magnetic field due to a solenoid for this this is the cylinder and wire is wound over it like in this this is the wire thus this system makes a solenoid and this is the axis of the cylinder or the solenoid and the axis is along the x-axis so can that is x and we have to find the magnetic field at any axial point of the solenoid so that is the P on the axis and consider a small distance dx over it and join them and the angle between this this is theta so now we can easily find the magnetic field due to dx at p that is dv for dx at p that is equal to mu naught n n is the total number of turn in length dx that is number of turn of OR this is the formula and A is the radius of the cylinder so that is A so if small n the small n is the number of turn per unit length then n that is small n into dx so you can put this there that's equal to mu naught n dx i a square by 2 a square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 that's equal to dv now from the diagram we can see that the tan theta that is theta and tan theta is a by that is x so tan theta is equal to a by x from this cot theta that is equal to x by a and from this x equal to a cot theta and after differentiating, differentiating over on both side we get dx equal to minus a cos x square theta into d theta now we have to put this value at this point so that's equal to dv that's equal to mu naught n and the value of dx that's is minus a cos x square theta d theta into i a square by and we have to value, uh, put the value of a square plus x square for this a square plus x square that's equal to a square the value of x that is a cot theta so a square cot square theta and that's equal to a square into 1 plus cot square theta that's equal to a square cos x square theta because 1 plus cot square theta equal to cos x square theta so that's cos x square theta now put this value of this that is to the power 3 by 2 so a square cos x square theta to the power 3 by 2 so that's equal to minus of there is a minus mu naught n a cos x square theta i a square by 2 a q cosec to the power 3 theta okay that's equal to minus of mu naught n here a into a square by a q cancelled out and cosec square theta and this cosec square theta cancel out and there will remain one cosec theta and that's equal to sin theta 1 by cosec theta that is equal to sin theta by 
two there and there is i into d theta okay now the total magnetic field in this uh, this is in the x direction that is so x cap so the total magnetic field would be like b that's equal to integral of db that's integral of mu naught in i sin theta by 2 into x cap that's equal to minus mu naught in i that's the constant so minus mu naught in i by 2 integral of sin theta d theta that's equal to mu naught in i by 2 the integral of sin theta is minus cos theta now we have to put the limit of this integral let's see we tint the cylinder or solenoid to this from this so this is the theta 1 angle from theta 1 and this is the theta 2 angle so we tend this cylinder from theta 1 to theta 2 from theta 1 to theta 2 so the limit is from theta 1 to theta 2 just put the limit so that's equal to this minus minus cancelled out and remaining mu naught a 9 by 2 after putting the limit it will be cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 now so that's equal to, if we take a long cylinder that is a very long cylinder then this theta 2 becomes 0 for long cylinder and theta 1 tends to pi so for a long cylinder a solenoid this is theta 1 equal to pi and theta 2 equal to 0 so we put this value for long cylinder that it equal to cos 0 minus cos pi that's equal to mu naught n i by 2 value of cos 0 1 minus cos pi minus 1 that's equal to mu naught n i by 2 into 2 that's equal to mu naught n i thus we get the magnetic field and the direction of this magnetic field is along the x-axis so there is a problem because we forget the to give the d theta in the integration just put this there 